Wow, this is heavy. <laughs> yeah, I think this is really heavy. <laughs> oh my goodness, you have to be kidding me. I wouldn't even lift this one. Ooh. Okay. I don't think I would really enjoy this. Yeah, that could be a real shocker for parents. We're going to see that story tonight on Fox 4 News at 9. Now, you know, backpacks can re uh, cause back problems for kids. Hard to believe. Uh, we're going to get some advice today from uh, Dr. Fabrizio Mancini. He is president of uh, Parker University in Dallas and himself a doctor of chiropractic. You've brought in some, uh, some good, some bad, and some kids for us this morning. Well, we needed some uh, assistance over here. But, Tim, i got to be honest with you. I started by trying to bring you a backpack. For you, right? I couldn't find one. They don't make them that big. So initially, I just want to make sure that we address that the urgency in this is the fact that over 7,000 visits right. to the emergency room is due to backpack uh, injuries. Now, and, and if you find out how much your kid weighs, then you have a pretty good idea of how much uh, the backpack should weigh, the maximum. Well, the statistics are saying that 5 to 10 percent of our body weight should be what we put into a backpack. Right. And as you know, that most of the kids are wearing a lot more weight than that. Oh, yeah. And that's what's causing a lot of the neck problems, the back problems, and the other issues that are leading them into the emergency room. Right, absolutely. And we've got a, a couple of uh, good-looking models over here right well, now. Well, if we start over here, you know, our model here, Luciano, is going to show you a good backpack. That's and this, a good backpack. Now, you have two white stripes. You have a chest strap that's going to pull the uh, weight up to make sure that the shoulder stays even. Mm -hmm. But also we want to make sure that the backpack is not also too much lower. About four inches below the waistline is really what you want. Right. And two inches below the shoulders. So that's really the perfect scenario, right. but also not too much weight in the backpack. Right. Now, uh, the shoulder bags are very popular as well. Now, this is called the messenger bag, and it's getting very popular. But if you look at it, the kids love it because it's glittery, it's right. fun. Uh, but at the same time, it puts only one shoulder strap, oh, so all the weight kind of so goes yeah. towards one side. That's that pulls good. the neck, and that also causes a lot of disbalance in the spines. And uh, doctors at chiropractic, you know, our primary mission is to keep a healthy spine. Absolutely. So that's why we want to make sure that we prevent this over 80% back pain yeah. uh, by people in the United States. 80% uh, of the people in the United States suffer from back pain, and it all starts with your backpack. You brought in uh, some bad here. These are inexpensive looking and probably inexpensive at the store. Well, and that's one of the things as a parent, I want to make sure that you understand that even though you're thinking you're saving uh, in the short term, you got to have, this doesn't have hardly any padding in the straps. Mm -hmm. You notice how thin it is. And also it doesn't have any packets for distribution. Right. So that's not good. This one has a little bit of padding in this one, but it has no padding in the back. And it also doesn't have any packets that also can distribute. Right. This one has a little bit more padding here, a little bit more padding in the back, a couple of packets here, which you can distribute your bottle, bottle right. waters, etc. Now, here is when you start seeing the good ones. You got it. Now, look at the padding in this one. This one even has a back padding that has an airbag that you can inflate in order to support that. But also look at all the different packets that it has. Right. So that's going to distribute the weight. And these are going to last a long time as well. Which and So you spend a little bit of more money now, right. but you're going to save it in the long run. And, and also bills. making sure that you're not buying a backpack right. that is too big for your child. Right. And then this one, of course, you know, many kids are going back to college and university. And at Parker University, we see them all the time that sometimes they're carrying these heavy books, but you want to make sure that you have as heavy of a padding. You got it. Look at the shoulder pads in this one. Absolutely. And then Great advice. many packets to distribute. The and as we wrap it up, sometimes for the little ones, one with the wheels on the bottom and the handles as well. Well, we've yes. got a link with uh, more information uh, and a link to Parker University as well on myfoxdfw.com. Click on the Good Day tab and look for links. And on Fox 4 News at 9 o'clock tonight, more of those parents being a little bit embarrassed when they figured out they didn't pass the backpack test. We've got more to come here. On